Now, can you just help me along? Anybody know what is the official retirement age uh, in Singapore? If you graduate and then started working, just throw me a number. Yeah, 62. So the number is 62. So remember, all of us graduated, we are in our 20s, right? So 20s to 62. Now, give a guess. So just help me do some math. How many years officially do, do we have to work before we retire? Yeah, so about 42 or 40. So 62 minus 20, you have about 42. So 42 years to you, is it very long or very short? Yeah, it's extremely long. 42 years, like, am I going to waste my life working for 42 years? So in the early days when I graduated, I asked this question. 42 years, that's very long. Right now I'm 47, and then there's 62. Well, it's going to be many years. So how long do I need to work before I call it a day? We want to work less than 42 years. In fact, after you graduated, if you don't have to work, that's the best. But now it's the conspiracy part. I'm going to give you a few seconds to think it through, and I just need you to help me. Now, for more than 42 years, less than 42 years. So since we went through the education that we're going through right now, ask yourself this, huh? after we graduate, did the schools that we've been to taught us to work more than 42 years or less than 42 years? So now the question is, why did the school system that we have teach us to work 42 years while what we desire is to work less? It's because if our school system teach us to work less, then where do we get the manpower to manage the economy of Singapore? So all school system has to make us work. Now, but the question is, work for what? Work for who? And if we work for something, eventually who are the people who are going to become wealthy? Is it us? Or is it those people that we're working for? So this was a question that I asked in the early days when I was uh, much younger. Now, these are the richest people in the world. Now, don't take my word for it. You can just type a Forbes richest list. You'll see some of the richest people in the world. Now, the richest person is Bill Gates. Everybody know. Now, this guy owned this company called Microsoft. Uh, Warren Buffett, which got talked about uh, later, later on, he owns a company called Berkshire. Now, this guy, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Even though they are rich, even though they are dealing in different industry, they have one thing in common. So what's the, what's the one thing in common? Every single one owns, a, can you just help me to fill in this blank? Owns a what? Every single one is a business owner. So what does that mean? Now, if every single one is a business owner, and after we all finish our degree, we're going to work in a company. So now, have you ever asked, if we work in a company, who are we working for? Are we working for the manager, the director, the vice president, or the CEO? So assuming that we are working for a CEO, then who is the CEO working for? Who does the CEO report to? So I need help. Who does the CEO report to since he's the highest uh, ranking officer in the company? Who does the CEO report to? Assuming that it's a profit-making company. The CEO re re reports to the shareholders, thank you. Which means that the ultimate owner or the richest people in the entire company is not the CEO but the shareholders. The shareholders are really the boss but because they do not run the company day to day, you don't really see them. Yep, don't really see them. What is the conspiracy? The conspiracy for all education systems as far as I know is they have been training us to work for a business but they have never trained us to own a business. So now the question is for the thousands of graduates outside, what are they thinking? After they graduated, the, those people are working, what are they thinking? They are not aware. Now, so this one is the one where I say the, is the conspiracy. So the key thing is, if we want to work less than 42 years, we want to have more extra income. As time passes, as we work, we need to deploy our savings, and then eventually we, we should invest in the business or own the business.